let's tune into a game between Professor Hulk, I believe that is our Frogloff Swamp player, against Cyrix13. We've got a Furk Infiltrator down already. Yeah, Cyrix13 on the SL. So we're doing some fantastic fancy work here. Skybreak Dragon. So I'm going to assume this is going to be the dragons. And we're going to have dragons against Furk, I believe. Fancy schmancy. Now, I quite like the champs from Frogloss Swamp. I'm just having a little look at what this Skybreak Dragon does, because he's quite new to me. And this Infiltrator is actually quite cheap for what it's got. The Stillwater Mutant. I hate those things. I have not come up with a good way to kill them. They always cause me immense pain and suffering. I'm not gonna lie. Now we're gonna flame Drago Leech going up there just to deal with the Infiltrator. I think the Infiltrator has the advantage of this because of the stealth and being able to dictate what he wants to do. Ah, and we now, so what would I do? Yep, goes all the way in, make sure he's gonna claim the font. Obviously chasing everything up there. Absolutely fine. So he's gonna go back to Prof Hulk. Is he gonna do a deploy potentially in the bot? He should have the Nora, I believe, unless he's only got some expensive things. Which will definitely dictate the flow of the game. There we go, he has got enough. He's got an Imperator with both upgrades for the sprays. A really expensive deploy. There's the Mind Cooler, distracting blows, has initiative, so he just rushed it in. And has gone for a stun. I think that stun is quite... it's really aggressive, to be honest. Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was necessary, <laughs> to be fair. And the Infiltrator has stealthed in the top, which is roughly what I'd expect. If it wants to engage the fight, it's going to engage the fight. So we've got three champions coming down now. So what is he going to get up to? I think he'll take the step forward and get that distraction in play just to prevent anything from being utilized on that sky break. The sky break even. So they're all coming in. Just checking, see if we've got anything else. There's our next one, the Furk Executor. Do like the corruption with loss of life. Really good range. Just seems to be quite a quick one to get in. <sighs> that damage. Even on an SL unit, that is quite painful. And yeah, now that he's got the distracted on him, he's going to struggle to get any of his armor or abilities. The challenge here is that Furk Infiltrator has the choice to go anywhere because obviously of the Amphibious. It gives them a real edge when deciding positionings out and 100% means that he's got the ability to choose the engagement with that Drago Leech, which for me almost certainly guarantees the advantage. Let's see what this Skybreak Dragon does. Because he should probably only be... Ah! Purged. Okay, dropping that down. Okay, so he's going for a major amount of bombing on this. There goes some armor, just to toughen him up, which is going to be really good for him. We definitely needed some of that. And I mean, the distract isn't going to be such a problem right now. So that little Furk has a lot of problems right now. He is not in a good place. Okay, 
That looks to be a poison cloud. And we're just seeing, is he gonna be, he'll be in pounce range for a double attack like this. I think he's calculating if he can kill the sky beak, sky break. One tap. Not that much damage. The regen is going to be completely countered by the loss of life. So that's still useful. There he goes, he's off that. So, pretty weak, only 7 HP remaining. But yeah, we do have that Stillwater Mutant taking that font on, and is in a very good position. Hello. There's our Infiltrator. He has chosen to pick the fight. This is going to work well, because he's in melee range, so there's always going to be a disengage run and hit. And there we go, he's draining a bit of health. 13. He's not quite in range to finish that off. Skybreak disengages. The question is what his plan is now. There you go, one acid storm, problem solved. That one is down. And he's just going to run away with the Skybreak Dragon. I am I think that was a slight misplay, because I think he could have gotten a double attack if he wanted to. Oh, so painful, so painful. That's the one bit I hate when it does that. It just crushes, gets rid of all your AP. Quite an immense range, I'm not sure on the range of it, to be honest. And the battle for the top font continues. I think the Infiltrator has the advantage here, because he's always going to be able to take a step forward, take his hit, and yeah. This Drago Leech is always going to have to disengage and mostly struggle to ever get a double tap. And with his health dropping this quickly, Quite clear a spell is going to do it. Oh, another spell. The Psychic Conundrum. Getting a lot of damage on these guys right now. So they're soul tapped, distracted, a font of restoration to get that still water mutant up. And we have another Mind Caller. Nora Globe goes over. I think that's definitely take a step forward and give him a nice little tap. So now the Skywing Imperator is close to death. This is going to definitely cause some problems. And he's deployed in the top font. I'm not sure if that's the play or not, because now we have a very close 65 Nora champion. And he's now up with a 63 Nora champion and another very middle-priced one. Especially given that this bottom font is going the wrong direction at this point in time. So at least he's not going to have to worry about the font of frustration just yet. Right, here we go. What will he get up to? It's almost tempting to run that Infiltrator away and just be a nuisance. That's what I would be contemplating if I wanted to be a nuisance and run away. Or does he go for a double tap, but I don't think he can kill. He's got 11 damage minus the 2 for the Sunderland's bonus, so he can only do 18 damage if he wanted. And we've got the Furk Executor slowly sneaking down. There's 
Yeah, they've already managed to get rid of one, the Imperator. And this Neo Drake is not going to withstand another round here. So he needs to deploy and he needs to get these fonts. There we go. Even if he taps again, this Drago Leech is going to survive. And he should, at this point, have potentially enough damage on the cards to kill. Until that bubble went off. Bubble and stealth. And because the bubble is on, he's not going to take damage and become unstealthed. So he's now AWOL. And we now... Oh, well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching, and have a great day, guys.